Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I finally have some finds to show to you. I've been out and about and actually had to travel some distance to find some of these things because the sales again, I hate to be a broken record but it's really not been uh, very good lately. I think it just got so hot and people were saving money um, you know and not having sales right now and I don't know it just I think they also got rid of a lot during the lockdown and I'm just wondering if they don't have enough to have sales anymore so we'll see so let's start with the useful stuff uh, went to a sale and we were the only ones in there my friend and I and we got to look to our hearts content uh, I bought five dollars worth of bathroom supplies so I got these little q-tips packets for five dollars for those the cough drops and then for so ten dollars for a lot of this stuff so anyways yeah something like that uh, and more cotton swabs uh, pears a whole stack of soap q-tips ziploc big package of napkins again um, and then uh, I'll tell you as I go this was a uh, less than a dollar this is a Williams Sonoma candle uh, the cloisonne beads were a dollar a piece so there's a black it's kind of multicolored and then a yellow um, I got these at a sale yesterday I'm kind of splitting things up but um, kind of show y'all this says sterling down here at the bottom and the little howling dog kind of a southwest kind of thing these are a dollar piece as well Whoop, they fell there they are right there and I got a new potato peeler if, if you want a good potato peeler the OXO brand potato peeler is so comfortable and uh, it feels like when I have to peel a five pound bag of potatoes for the holidays it really helps to have that got this yesterday as well it is a perfume bottle I didn't even try to take the stopper off but here it is and it's got made in France and when I looked right here I could see Lalique here look at this for a while I'm gonna see if you can see that mm, right in there it says Lalique so I need to look that up and see what that's worth. Isn't that neat? So that was, I think, it was either one or two dollars. I think it was two. Uh, I got this Malachite elephant for, um, it was about 75 cents to a dollar. Because they kind of bundled stuff together. This as well, it was the only piece of jewelry I got at this other sale. It was about 75 cents. I got this Vaseline glass toothpick again about a uh, dollar I got the brass duck for about a dollar and I got this it's like it's that cased glass kind of dirty in there but it's got a pontal mark uh, it was three dollars for that pretty little thing I got this sterling silver spoon and this is kind of a, a departure this is more kind of a mod pattern so I think it's fairly older um, you can see the pattern name there, Spanish Lace, and then it says Sterling right in here. That was 50 cents. I kept looking and looking for the rest of it. I couldn't find it. But the big elephant in the room is my humongous genie bottle. Look at that. It is huge. It is like 25, I can't even remember how tall it is. Over two feet. I think close to three. Um, blue genie glass so my friend and I drove like 45 minutes to to get to this sale and you know I couldn't find it and I said you know there was a glass bottle um, and I showed her the picture and she said oh it was this room and they had the door shut but there it was it was uh, so I went ahead and got it it was ten dollars for this genie bottle these things are really popular right now so if you do resell you need to be on the lookout for genie bottles because they are definitely the thing that's in right now. If you know anything about these things, I'd really love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my finds. And I'll have more for you later because I'm, you're seeing a cardboard box in the background that is full of Costa Boda miniature glass. 
and I think I have 24 pieces. So more to show you. Take care, and I love your subscription. Bye-bye.